Yes, it's your girl Petty Page back at it again with yet another video for you hoes. Now, today's video is going to be slightly different to the regular kind of videos it is that I do. It's going to be more like a commentary based video. But I saw a video recently by a YouTuber by the name of Leon Lush that really sparked my interest into having a look into this specific area of YouTube. And no, we're not talking about TikTok cringe compilations. We're talking about a section of YouTube that nobody really tends to venture into. To. We're talking about motherhood, parenting, and housekeeping videos. There is a whole subgenre of things that happen on that side of YouTube. In fact, there's pretty much like a subgenre of every particular kind of YouTube you could possibly look into. Anyway, if you guys are wondering where I am, I'm actually at my mum's house. I stayed over because it was one of my friend's funerals um, today that I went to. If anything, I'm just filming this video just to kind of get my mind out of that funeral headspace. So thank you guys for indulging me. But yeah, I'm staying at my mum's for a couple of days. That's why today's video is being filmed here rather than at home in my regular location. I hope you guys do not mind. Anyway, let's get straight into the video. Both of these bitches is petty, 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 petty. Most of these bitches is petty. Now what could possibly be the issue with this particular sub-genre of YouTube? Mothering, parenting, and housekeeping, you're pretty much keeping yourself out of trouble, one would think. But that's until you get into this one subsection of this sub-genre, which is speed cleaning. Now basically, speed cleaning videos are supposed to be motivational videos for housewives or housekeepers or people who just wanna keep on top of their homes, where they share tips and tricks, but at the same time, clean their house to motivate you to clean your own house. That seems to me like a bit of an oxymoron. I would think that watching somebody else clean their house would be me not being productive and not cleaning my own house. You know what I mean? But some people also find this very therapeutic, the idea of things going back into their original places, the placement of certain objects, house making and making a house a home, like that for a lot of people feels good to watch. It gives you all of those ASMR tingles that you desire. Now I've seen speed cleaning videos across YouTube a few times. And although it's not something that I'm particularly into, I can kind of understand what people see in it. But whether I find it motivational is a completely different thing. It just motivates me to buy nicer things for my house because these people have better houses than I do. And look, honestly, it's just not fair. Like how do you have three children and keep on top of your life in such a magnificent way? I can't deal with like the regular stresses of life. But more recently, speed cleaning has taken a bit of a weird turn. These women who are doing speed cleaning, some of them have been garnering a huge amount of views. We're talking into the millions of views for being scantily clad whilst cleaning. And that's verging onto a completely different genre altogether. A genre that I like to call softcore cleaning. There is a YouTuber by the name of Rose Kelly who has garnered 1.5 million views for speed cleaning and a pair of booty shorts. There is another YouTuber that I will be definitely going into which is a YouTuber called Ruby Day who has garnered millions and millions and millions and millions of views by literally doing house cleaning half naked on YouTube. So basically something that originally started off as inspirational and aspirational for all of these mothers and homemakers to make their house a home and to do the best and be productive with their day in life by watching other women clean their houses while they sit down and watch YouTube videos. This has now turned into a massive money making scheme and a really smart algorithm trick that these women are now using to garner money and notoriety and subscribers by exploiting their post mummy tummies and bodies. So take a look at a few examples that I found on YouTube of these speed cleaning videos. I must warn you, these may not be appropriate for a lot of people. I'm expecting to be demonetized. I'm expecting YouTube to take down this video. I'm expecting it to be blocked in all countries. We're gonna try our best with this.
Demonetization. Okay, so as you can see from the few videos that, is that I have shown you guys, you can totally see that these women are definitely exploiting their bodies. And on one hand, I'm sitting there thinking to myself, this is totally inappropriate. But on the other hand, I'm like, babes, go get your coin. Men, okay, I'm gonna be doing a massive gross generalization here, but men are so stupid. I, I, I just, I don't mean to be rude. If you are a guy, I'm really sorry, you're stupid. Literally all a woman has to do is be semi-naked on YouTube or what, whatever platform, um, whatever video viewing platform. And men will just suddenly stop exactly what it is that they're doing and take notice. I will guarantee you that 99.9% .9 of the people watching these scantily clad women speed clean in their undergarments or in the booty shorts are men. And I know what a lot of you guys are going to be thinking. Um, Petty Page, that is a gross generalisation. Not just of men, but the people who may be watching these videos. I mean, what if there's a lot of women watching these videos too? Have you ever thought of that? Well, basically, the only thing I have to say to you is take a look into the comment section and do not go from top to bottom because there is something that a lot of people don't know about the comment section is that when people like certain comments so if i go through my comment section and like certain comments it automatically brings that comment to the top of the view so don't go from the top to the bottom like you would usually go into your filters and select newest first and that is where you'll see the most recent comments going straight through to the oldest in time order if you have a look at that section on youtube you will be able to see that 99.9 percent .9 of the people who are watching these videos are men and judging by the fact that my own husband is absolutely shocking when it comes to cleaning up I bet he's not watching for cleaning. Yeah, you saw that? That was a crotch shot. On a cleaning video. I, I am not buying the entire BS, which is that she is cleaning the floor innocently in some booty shorts when all I can see is the outline of her coochie. Which leads me to the one person who has become a person of interest when searching through these speed cleaning videos. If you want to look at speed cleaning videos and exploiting your body for money and views, look no further than the one and only Miss Ruby Day. Literally, if you search Ruby Day's name into YouTube, the first thing it will come up with is Ruby Day, no bra. I shit you not. Now Ruby Day, to me, although I have not done that much research into her, if I'm perfectly honest, she looks like a middle-aged, and I mean that in the nicest way because she looks phenomenal, but she is a middle-aged, I do believe that she's vegan, woman who basically makes videos about yoga, cooking, and lifestyle, as well as these speed cleaning videos, and they get a hell of a lot of views and has garnered her over 400,000 subscribers on YouTube. One of her most popular videos is how to vacuum speed clean tips. And it has 1.4 million views. Now I know what you're thinking. What's the thumbnail page? The thumbnail, which I will put over here. The thumbnail is like a booty shot of her in a pair of very short shorts. But if you don't think that that's enough, search this lady's name and the rest of the videos that you will come up with will honestly blow your mind. How about cooking naked? 
No, that's right. Cooking naked with just an apron on. Now, don't get me wrong, I think this is fabulous because she has the most amazing perk boobs for a woman of her age that I have ever seen. Are they real? Are they fake? I don't know, they look amazing. But she is literally cooking whilst naked and the way that she talks and the way that she produces her content is so family friendly that it lulls you into this full sense of this is okay. This is so not okay. <laughs> this is so not okay. Hey guys, this is such a great cooking naked recipe because it is perfect for the chilling nights or just feel good home food. It is chicken and broccoli in bashmeel pasta casserole. It's creamy, it's got the perfect flavor, texture, you get a little bit of crunch and the smoothness and the creaminess. Okay, I may have to take this on the run because I can already see there's people lining up. From doing yoga poses in what I can only describe as a pair of shorts that are way, way, way too small for her. Feet and booty straight on your mat or on the floor. And then you kind of make sure your back is really straight and you've got this great lineage going all the way through your neck. You lift your legs and lean back with your back and try to speed cleaning in pretty much nothing but a bikini. These videos are garnering thousands and thousands of views and she's producing it on the daily. Now it turns out that the person who is behind the camera who is her cameraman for most if not all of her videos is her husband. So it seems as if her husband co-signs this kind of behavior on YouTube and you know what? Like I said in the beginning, you better get your quaints go. 413,000 views. Wow. I, I better get in that kitchen, bitch. Uh -huh. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Do you get what I mean? Out here with millions and millions of views. 1.34 million views. Look at the camera angles that her husband's doing. now that's too much <laughs> that's too much that is too much i cannot look 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 please look look she's got a cat on her butt i can't i cannot joe's <laughs> cleavage <laughs> So oh, who's doing who's doing yoga in a top that low? The pussy in between the legs. <laughs> that her whole butt is out. Her whole butt. But she she's she's doing it like it's real. I, who's she fooling? Now read the comments. Five Mississippi, but I love the way that you look. The true art of sexy is as fuck you're hotter than most women in their 20s and more motivated to keep it up beautiful smile you ain't looking at a fucking smile you lying bastard beautiful smile i swear i swear i mean check out this yoga video from miss ruby days where she literally has her entire butt out not just a little bit, her entire ass out. And then not only that, like her top is so low cut. And I'm just like, bitch, you if you don't go and get your coins, bitch. And yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, oh, hold on. We gotta have better life for that. That yoga butt. Boobies. All boobies. And butt. I don't know if any of you have tried stepping on your hands and still standing up. It's kind of difficult. I always end up falling over. Okay, listen, right, let me tell you guys the truth. The truth is, is that speed cleaning or cleaning your home doesn't look like this. I know men, I know, calm down, calm down, let go of your erections. <laughs> but cleaning at home doesn't look like that. Cleaning at home looks like this. Roll it. Okay, so this is what a regular cleaning day looks for me. I got low hanging titties. Hey, Harry. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so this is what an average cleaning day looks like for me. 
I see all of these girls wearing like these cute little booty shorts and stuff and that's honestly like that's not the case when it comes to me my tits are always just down and living their best life just swinging about in the wind so that's what real cleaning looks like bitches okay and my I'm wearing like my slouchy pants these are my like slouch pants that I wear this is what this is what it looks like hoes I'm sorry this is what I look like so let's get cleaning because I am all about doing two birds with one motherfucking stone so let's get to cleaning Habit. <laughs> I have this habit of literally washing my clothes and then putting them on the table and literally not folding them forever. So I'm going to spend the next couple of minutes folding my clothes. on YouTube from speed cleaning or what I would like to call soft core cleaning. I have absolutely no hate for any of these girls. Honestly, if you have found a loophole in the system that works for you, you better get your quaint bitch. And if I knew there was that much money and that much views in that subgenre of YouTube, yeah, my fat ass would move her way right over into the kitchen and make my husband a goddamn sandwich. Making my way downtown with my bitch. She's gonna make me a sandwich. Da -na 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 -na. I don't say all of this to say that what they're doing is wrong and they should be demonized or penalized by YouTube or YouTube should strip them of monetization or why is this okay but when I upload a video on this this isn't okay honestly I think it's all in good fun the only part of this that can somewhat worry me is the categorizations of these videos like are these videos being age restricted and I mean that in a sense of I don't know how I would feel if I was a parent knowing that my kid had access to those kind of videos. Although it's only a little bit of skin, the camera angles, the way that they're doing this, 
trying to make it innocent when it's not. We all know what they're doing, which is fine, do you? But we know what you're doing. I don't know how I'd feel as a parent knowing that that would be available. Now, I don't know what YouTube categorizes this video as. Shit, I don't know what YouTube categorizes my videos as. But what I do know is if these videos aren't age restricted, which a lot of them don't seem to be age restricted on YouTube, then it means that the average 13 year old, young, prepubescent, horny teen can go and watch speed cleaning videos to get their rocks off, if you, if you know what I mean. I honestly find the whole thing so fucking fascinating. Age restriction guidelines on YouTube and sexploitation, if you will, through YouTube aside. I don't know what the future holds for these kind of channels, if they will kind of fall under the radar, if YouTube will ever do anything about it. But all I'm saying is guys, go get your coins while you can. And whether you respect somebody's subscriber base being majority pervy males, or not, the point is, is there is an audience for this kind of thing. So there is a subgenre of people who definitely care to watch women in this way. I mean, where did you think like the whole sexy Molly maid outfits and stuff came from? From men's idea of the submissive subservient wife or woman or the unobtainable French maid who looks dastardly beautiful while she's cleaning up your home. Hey maid. I say you got on your May I feel like you always do. All of those ideas, I guarantee you, derive from the blood flow of the male. With that being said, I wish these ladies the best of luck in their future endeavors. Honestly, it's just so funny to me because I know what they're doing and they know what they're doing. So don't try and con me by saying you're not doing what you're doing by trying to make it seem more family friendly. But I know what you're doing. You know what you're doing and get your coins, bitch. I ain't hating. But whilst it's all in good fun, the only thing I would be wary about is once again, the age restriction and who has access to this kind of content on YouTube. But that's not my responsibility. That definitely is not the responsibility of the people making these videos. It's actually you. YouTube's responsibility to monitor these kind of things. Anyway, that is about it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed me giving a bit of a, I wouldn't call it like a roast, but kind of like a critique on a genre of YouTube. I really love these kinds of videos where I can be more commentary and less drama. So if you guys have a funny subgenre or a genre of YouTube you want me to take a look at and have a giggle at, then let me know by either writing it in the comment section down below or sending me a message to my email, t at pettypage.co.uk. With that being said, as per always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like it, if you don't, I don't give a shit anyway. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification with the bell so that you guys get a notification every single time the Petty Page posts new content. I personally think that these girls have got this whole situation on lockdown. And what people do in the comfort of their own homes is none of my business. But it is the business of about 1.4 million guys doing something, you know? But that is just my humble opinion and don't take my opinion for it because I'm just petty. Bye. Petty, petty.